We're asked to determine the derivative function given f of x equals e raised to the power of negative two x times cosine of negative three x. Because f of x is a composite function, we will have to apply the chain rule. We'll be using the derivative formula. The derivative of e to the u with respect to x is equal to e to the u times u prime. Notice u is equal to the exponent, which in our case indicates that u is equal to negative two x times cosine of negative three x. So if we let u equal the exponent, we can think of f of x as just the function e to the u when applying the derivative formula. But we also need to find u prime or du dx, so let's find that now. Notice to find u prime, we'll have to apply the product rule. Let's let the first function be negative two x and the second function be cosine of negative three x. And therefore u prime is equal to the first function of negative two x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of cosine negative three x with respect to x. Notice to find this derivative, we will also have to apply the chain rule. And then we have plus the second function of cosine negative three x times the derivative of the first function which is the derivative of negative two x with respect to x. And now let's find the derivative here and the derivative here. So u prime is equal to negative two x times the derivative of cosine negative three x, which is equal to negative sine negative three x times the derivative of negative three x, which is negative three. So we are applying the chain rule here as well, using the derivative formula. The derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime. And then we have plus cosine negative three x times the derivative of negative two x with respect to x, which is negative two. Let's go ahead and simplify this. U prime is equal to, well here we have negative two x times negative sine negative three x times negative three. So we have a negative times a negative times a negative, which is a negative, so we have negative six x sine negative three x. And then we have plus negative two cosine at negative three x, or just minus two cosine negative three x. So again, now we can just think of the original function f of x as e to the u, where the derivative is equal to e to the u times u prime, and we now have u and u prime, and therefore f prime of x is equal to e to the u, which is e raised to the power of negative two x times the cosine of negative three x times u prime, and u prime is negative six x sine negative three x, minus two cosine negative three x. And we could go ahead and leave the derivative in this form here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the order of the product and write this as f prime of x equals the quantity negative six x sine negative three x minus two cosine negative three x all times e raise the power of negative two x cosine negative three x. Either of these last two forms are acceptable. I hope you found this helpful.